As they raise their small voices in joyous celebration once more. Now you're 
fired? Now I'm fired. Did you tell me your name? Lloyd. Lloyd. Bothalofty. Bothalofty. Isn't that an interesting name? I'm Mary Ellen Sizzle. Nice to meet you. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. Me and my house dress and slippers out in the snow. <laughs> oh, it's cool. Yes, it was. I've always wanted to do something like that. Run away in the middle of the night with your slip and slippers with some strange man. Right. Which is why I would never really do anything like that. Except here I am, running away and becoming... Well, I don't know what I thought I'd become. But running away and here I am. Here you are. On my way to... Meet Pootie. Meet Pootie? Find open presents. I'll watch. This will be fun. Hear from us. Open it. But I didn't get anybody anything. Go on. Oh, this is so strange. I think this was meant for someone else. Look, aren't you both so nice? Thank you. You like it? Oh, like it. <laughs> okay, who's next? Wait, okay. I know what I want to do now. Now, I'm sorry I didn't chance to wrap this, but Merry Christmas! Isn't this fun? I'll put it on. I said you didn't have to do that. Of course I didn't have to do that. You didn't have to ask a woman in her slippers to come spend Christmas with you either. I could be a mass killer. I could be anybody. I could be anybody. Jeanette? Rachel, Happy New Year! How are you? I'm great. No, really, I'm fine. You know, I'm just up at my cousin's. <laughs> but would you do a favor for me? You will? Would you check in on the boys? Oh, thank you. Okay, bye, Jeanette. Earth to Mary Ellen. Hmm. Well, we discussed it, and we both want you to stay here. For dinner? For as long as you'd like. Oh, no, I couldn't. Why not? Because I'd have to get to some shoes, I'd have to get a job, I can't just move in. Pootie, come on. I can't hear you, she's tough. Thank you, Lloyd, 
I'm having enough trouble as it is. Why? Just because. Because why? This is the way children talk. So? Because. <laughs> How was it? It was great. You like Trish? Oh, yeah. Now she's in charge of what again? All the budget. Oh, really? She's pretty convinced she doesn't need an assistant either. Oh. She'll listen up. So then she does the payroll. How do you say payroll, Lloyd? I don't know. Ask her. No, come on. Spell it. I'll be on the wood chest if anybody needs me. You're just trying to turn me into a deaf girl. I know. I can't hear you. I can't hear anybody. <laughs> she does. She seems kind of tight-lipped. She is. Now listen, he can't know. It would break his heart. I'm sorry I didn't say anything before. When I lost the use of my legs, a friend drove me up here to Springfield to take a look at the place where they worked with the handicap. I watched just a therapist working with the patients, and there was one working with the quadriplegic. I thought he was the most beautiful man I'd ever seen, and I thought 
it. Why? Oh, no reason. Did someone try to hurt you? Oh, no, 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 no. Who tried to hurt you? Nobody! You can tell me. Tom wouldn't do anything like that. He wouldn't. Who's Tom? Forget I mentioned it. Really. I think we should talk to someone about this, don't you? Go on. Well, I don't know. There's really no problem. No? I don't know. What are you thinking? I don't know. About Christmas, I guess. Do you feel like telling me about it? Well, last Christmas, Christmas Eve, my husband Tom is all tucked into bed like a little kid, and I just tucked our two boys in. And I'm telling Tom how perfect it all seems. I've never been so happy. And we're watching the news, I remember. And suddenly, I realize Tom's upset. So naturally, I go to comfort him. I tell him, be happy, and that it's Christmas. And he says he's taken a contract out on my life. 